for sale is my 1975 Cerro Scotty Highlander camper. Uh, weighs approximately 1,850 pounds. Um, it's a great little camper. I've uh, pretty much totally rebuilt it. I've taken the skins off of it, uh, windows, door, um, roof, anything pretty much that is attached to the body has been taken off and uh, redone on the inside, except for the exception of the uh, the wall that the door is on located here. So I have rebuilt the uh, the front of the camper, uh, the back of the camper, the top of the camper, and the side opposite of the door. I've, that's all new plywood. In the process, I have uh, insulated uh, anything like the, um, I should say, the front and the back and the, the roof with um, three-quarter inch foam, foam insulation foil face to reflect the heat. I've also wrapped the camper with um, it's like a bubble wrap type of foil insulation. Uh, a couple things about the camper on the outside. We've got uh, new tires as of uh, spring of last year. Um, these are the original wheel covers and they're in pretty good condition. Uh, in the process of removing everything and um, and um, refastening everything, I've resealed all the windows, resealed all the edging, um, the lights, whatever, with uh, butyl tape. I've also gone and taken out the aluminum screws that were originally in the camper, the hexagon screws, and replaced them with, um, with stainless screws uh, with neoprene um, sealing washers. Uh, going around to the back of the camper here, um, back is in great shape for 1975. We got a few dings over here. You can see one in the uh, the light right over here. Uh, the lights are in pretty good condition. Uh, just minor cracking going on there, nothing major. This one's in excellent condition. Uh, bumper is in great shape as well, just with the exception of a ding right under our sleeping bear uh, bumper sticker there. Moving along to the, uh, the side opposite the door, the, uh, the driver's side, again everything was taken off this side as well as all the other sides and this side was uh, totally rebuilt um, using half inch uh, plywood. Moving along here, um, this window is the only window that has, whenever back in the day somebody probably broke it and replaced it with plexiglass, I never took the time to, uh, to replace it. Okay, here we are with the uh, the window, front window awning up, or window protector, rock guard, whatever you want to call it. Um, only thing is it won't stay up. It's missing a pin that goes in these little slots here. There's a little hole right there. And what I do is I just take a little piece of wire and I just send it through that hole and it stays right up. Windows, again, are in excellent shape. Every um, this window does not crank open. You can open it by hand. Uh, someone, again, the original owner, um, went ahead and removed this and made it uh, so that a, an air conditioner could be fit, it, fit in there. And unfortunately, we don't have all the parts there. There's a, there's a rod that goes side to side there that needs to be installed. Otherwise, um, pretty much everything is, is still there. Uh, it wouldn't really be uh, difficult to, to replace that, that one part. It would be actually an easy find. There's a lot of these windows out there. I've seen them on Craigslist. As far as uh, gas is concerned, never used it. Uh, the lines are weathered, um, but I don't do any cooking inside the camper, and the heater that we do use is an electric type of heater, so never really uh, saw any use in, um, in, uh, in redoing that. The okay, on the inside of the door, um, we have stickers from the, the first owner, uh, some of the places they had traveled to, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, I do have the uh, original Scotty keys. This one is dated, the, uh, the owner dated these, 418 of uh, 75. And also with the little Scotty keychain came a little Scotty dog, which is kind of cool. A little piece of Americana there. I did uh, photocopy the original title, which uh, shows that this vehicle was purchased in 1975. Uh, the original owner lived in Chicago and they purchased it on 4-18-1975. I do have the title, it says Cerro Scotty on it, and it belongs to me. Interior is in good condition, actually great condition. I totally redid the interior. Um, 
these seat cushions are original and uh, these dinette cushions are in excellent shape. All the interior paneling it has been uh, redone. Uh, this wall, as we see, has been done as well. It's a, uh, the half-inch plywood that I was talking to you about. The f this end of the, the trailer is original. Um, no, There was no need to replace this. I had everything stripped down, and this was la the, the last wall standing, um, and it was in good condition. Here we are at the back of the camper, and um, this again, this is a original uh, upholstery here. Uh, there was some staining that occurred over here. I thought about uh, perhaps just uh, re-dyeing this because I really, really love the pattern and I just love to keep as much of it original as possible. There was some damage also on the other side of this uh, upholstery, but um, that's just the part that uh, folds out when you uh, make it into bed, so I don't think there's really any need to, um, to replace it. Probably could just be patched. This camper does sleep six. Um, I made it so I put two um, hammocks up here. Uh, the hammocks are removable, and I do have the original cabinetry that went across here originally, but no problem with that. Uh, the cabinetry is original. Have the original gas lamp here. Again, no reason to use that. I just didn't connect that. We use uh, just the, the lamps that are located on the camper, inside the camper. Uh, this is an ice box here. So um, it is built to receive, a, I believe it's a 4.5 cubic uh, foot uh, fridge. So this could easily be taken out and, um, you know, modified. A couple panels come off and you can slide a 34-inch uh, a high uh, refrigerator in here. Also, we have the bathroom. So we've just kept a porta potty in here, uh, just for the kids at night. A nice handy shelf over here. All in all, it's a great camper. It told us very well. I, we've taken it uh, long distance, no problems with it. Uh, so any questions, please email me. And thank you for watching.